Hello, welcome back and this is section 16 of the Managing Business Strategy uh, program where we are taking another look at performance management tools. Um, you'll have recognized from the previous section that although we gave you some coverage of performance management tools, what we emphasized was there is a balance between picking these useful tools uh, and essentially ensuring that the people using them, the managers, the leadership that's using them, have the capability and the appetite you know, to do so. Uh, and we felt that emphasis was appropriate, the capability and appetite emphasis. And that's really based on our experience that so many organizations have concentrated on the tool rather than the way that the tool uh, should and could be used. So having Having given you that emphasis in the previous section, we now want to do a bit more of a deep dive into the tools, how valuable they are, how they're best used. So it's not that we are decrying the use of these approaches and the use of these tools in, a, in any way. It's simply a question of emphasis based on what we've seen have been successful and where organizations have perhaps not necessarily recognize if they were having performance management issues or translating strategy into performance deliverable issues where the issue where the concern where the problem may lay okay so ultimately what you're now going to see is a much deeper dive into the most common tools the most successful tools that are used by organizations today we'll take you through perhaps the top four or so uh, and give you some detail on that uh, and how they might be used. And then as always, I'll come back at the end and I'll give you a little summary uh, and I'll talk to you then. I'll see you soon.